officially time. We are finally going to be tackling the tandem read together. Hey guys, it's Tori and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be taking on a very big challenge that I have been procrastinating and putting off for a little while. And that is going to be the Throne of Glass tandem read. I am finally going to read Tower of Dawn and Empire of Storms. I have them in paperback, but I also have the full box set on my Kindle. So I probably will kind of like go back and forth between the two a little bit here and there. I also have these very handy dandy bookmarks that I ordered off of Etsy. I think they are currently out of stock, but all you have to do is go on Etsy and search Thorn Glass Tandem Read bookmarks and something should pop up for you. But I put a poll up on my Instagram asking if y'all wanted a full spoiler reading vlog and I had 100% yeses. So that is what we are going to be doing today. Like I just said, this is full spoiler. So if you have not read the Throne of Glass series or if you have not gotten to the tandem read yet, please, 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 full spoilers, full spoilers. I'm not going to be doing spoiler warnings. I'm, this is your one and only warning. Full spoilers. If there's something you don't want to know, this is not the video for you. Unfortunately, I love you so much. Go watch old videos or wait for a new video to come out but that is what we are doing today so with all of that being said make sure you like comment and subscribe to my face check out all my socials down below including my goodreads and my amazon book wish list and let's finally jump on in to the tandem read okay so quickly i just want to point out the obvious i am wearing a throne of glass piece of merch i feel like it was just necessary it has been probably about a month or so since i have read anything from the throne of glass series so it's been a minute i honestly don't fully remember what happened at the end of queen of shadows i kind of read the first five books like literally all back to back to back with like a few things in between but not very much according to my bookmarks i need to read the empire of storms nightfall and then chapters one through five and then i read tower of dawn chapter one and then empire of storms chapters six through eight and then tower of dawn chapters two and three that's what we're going to be starting with i don't know how much reading i'm actually going to get done tonight look how absolutely huge and ginormous these books are but all I know is I believe, yes, I am right. This one is about Cole. And I think this is about everybody else. I have missed Rowan and Aelin so freaking much. So I cannot wait to get back to them. I'm also very intrigued to see what is going on with Dorian. So I'm really, really, really excited to get into this one. I've heard very mixed things about this one, but I know that it's very important to obviously do the tandem if you don't for some reason know what tandem is i feel like if you've heard of throne glass you don't you do know what a tandem is but a tandem read is when as i was explaining you read a few chapters of one book and then a few chapters of another book because they take place at the exact same time just in different point of views and their stories like overlap my prediction is that this is going to be aelin and her little squad going and taking back her homeland and her becoming queen and this one i think is going to be cole trying to i don't know i actually don't really know what this one is at all but this is my guess for empire of storms so i'm very intrigued also love the covers so much so let's just shut up and finally get into this can you not tell i'm procrastinating because i'm absolutely terrified okay let's go chapter five of empire of storms and so basically the lords of terrison decided that aelin is not allowed to be the queen unless they all agree and they didn't agree and so she has to like basically like earn their trust and go and get a bunch of allies for the um for the war and so 
Rowan is going to go get Dorian because obviously the witches and the 13 and the covens and all that are going to ransack Riffold. And so Rowan's about to leave Aelin and she says, for now I have no plans to lose this war because some old bastard has learned he likes playing king. And Rowan says, I have no plans to let him keep that throne either, Aelin. And she said, come back to me. Oh my god, okay, so I just read a little bit more. And she said, I can't, I can't let you go. He says, you can and you will. When you find me again, we will have that night. I don't care where or who is around. You are my fire heart. I literally am so obsessed with that. It's really funny. But after this chapter, I finally have to go into Tower of Dawn. So, we're almost through the very first part of the Tandem Read. The very, the very first switch. I haven't gone very far, guys, but I'm geeking out anyways. Oh my god. Um, I think I just finally realized a crossover. So, I don't exactly know you have, how you pronounce this girl's name, but I'm going to guess it's Yurene. It's Y-R-E-N-E. -E. Anyways, she was from Assassin's Blade what she worked at the white pig inn that selena S selena selena stayed at and her dreams were to always be a healer and now she's a healer at one of the most prestigious places ever that's literally so crazy I love putting things together. Like, I love when shit starts to make sense. Also, I'm so convinced that Sam is not actually dead and that he's coming back. And if he comes back, I think I will literally sob tears of joy. Because I love Sam so much. I'm on the very last page of chapter 11 from Empire of Storms. Honestly... Fuck man and grandmother. Literally have hated her since I first read about her. She's gonna fucking kill Astrid. I hope that's how you say that. I think it is. Astrid? Yeah, that sounds right. What the fuck? What does she have against her? I literally genuinely don't understand. I genuinely don't get it. Makes no fucking sense. Also, this like... I don't even know what you call it. This like flagging thing that you can do on Kindle. Lifesaver. Because it's the only way I'm able to go back and forth between my tandem. So. I think I'm going to stop for the night. And pick back up tomorrow. But. So much is happening generally so much also i love my kindle clicker if you don't have one i swear you need one you just literally put your little thing on your kindle and you can just like cozy up and go click 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 anyways i'm gonna get ready for bed because i have to work tomorrow so i hope you're enjoying these very interesting updates <laughs> that i'm giving you hello besties and happy friday i thought i would give a little update so i am currently on chapter 14 of I think Tower of Dawn and then I am on chapter 19 of Empire of Storms so I've been reading out my Kindle there's like this like flag option that I've been using so I can like go back and forth honestly having these bookmarks has been so helpful obviously i'm not reading the paperbacks but i have been using these as like my guide and then it makes it so i can check what page i'm actually on in my book you know what i mean because like i'll obviously i've been translating so that i can keep track of my progress so i'm a little bit farther than these actually are but i'm thoroughly enjoying it um so basically manon the witch tried to save dorian or she like did save dorian and then rowan came and like legit took dorian with him and rescued him but um manon's like i think they called the matron she's basically like, the witch queen basically kind of or like the coven leader or whatever she um basically said 
that since Manon killed some of the yellow legs that there would have to be blood for blood and so she was like yeah you're gonna have to kill Astrid your second hand you know your cousin like you're the person you're closest to when I read that chapter I think it was like chapter 14 maybe of Empire of Storms I was literally crying my family and I are in the car on the way to go out to eat. I'm sitting in the back seat, you know, reading my cutie little girly books. And they're like, yeah, Astrid's about to die. And then Manon says, actually, fuck you. I'm going to try and kill my grandmother instead. And I'm going to save my 13. I'm like, oh my god, it was like so much. It was it was too much to handle. Um, That's kind of all I have really to say right now it's like weird to do these updates because like i can literally do spoilers and i've like not done that it's like weird it's like i don't know it's just weird so that's where i'm at it is currently basically seven o'clock almost seven o'clock and so i get to sleep in an hour later tomorrow because instead of having to be at work at 5 30 i don't have to be there until 6 30 in the morning so, I have like two and a half, three more hours that I can just sit here and fucking read. And that's all I want to do. And so that's what we're going to do. Because originally my goal was to get to chapter 19 of Empire of Storms and 17 of Tower of Dawn. But I'm like super close to that already. So I'm probably going to skip ahead like a few like I kind of have been using these as like goals to hit basically so I'm probably gonna actually try to get a decent amount farther than that for sure um I'm probably like about 150 pages in Tower Dawn and then maybe like 175 pages into Empire of Storms or so the goal is to finish this this weekend I've literally set my whole weekend aside just to read these and I'm so excited to do so so that's literally the plan that's all I have to say for right now if anything absolutely crazy which I'm sure will happens I will let you know but I'm loving it I actually thoroughly am enjoying Tower of Dawn I know a lot of people don't like this book but I'm loving it obviously I love Empire of Storms too because I like I love the characters but like I'm feeling five stars for both of them I don't know I just I'm like eating it up I was in a reading slump for like two weeks and this is literally like pulling me out so fast who knew all I needed was to read a little bit of SJM you know I'm loving it so much anyways I'm gonna go read I'm gonna shut up and I'm gonna go read <laughs> Sunday so I thought I would give a little reading update and I also had something I wanted to mention to you guys that I read about that I was like oh fuck what's gonna happen so I am currently on chapter 31 of Empire of Storms I finally can flip over my bookmark and start on the back so I am on page 2 77 of empire of storms and then in tower of dawn i am on part two mountains and seas which is chapter 29 page 336 so this is kind of where we're at we're close to the halfway mark if not at the halfway mark of tower of dawn but we're a little behind the halfway mark of Empire of Storms. I was looking over some of the chapter like switches and very, very soon there is a part where I almost read 20 chapters of Empire of Storms before I switch back to Tower of Dawn. So I'm assuming that's where we catch up. As of right now, I don't feel like the tandem read is certainly necessary. I'm sure towards the end it will make a lot more sense than it is making now. I just don't feel like there's really been like any parts where I feel like there's a crossover in timelines but I'm sure like I said that will come soon. So I was reading earlier today 
and there is this part where I believe her name is Yurine, if that's how I'm pronouncing it, in Tower of Dawn. One of the princesses, I think her name is Hassar or Hassar, something like that. I'm, I'm guessing, obviously, on my pronunciation, but if I'm wrong, I apologize. But she is like telling Yurine, who is the um, healer, who is healing Cole or Kale. I think it's Cole. I clearly don't know. But um, she, they're like friends, and she tells Yurine, hey, I need you to get information out of Cole, and you need to figure out where Aelin is hiding, or where she is, and all this kind of stuff. So Cole doesn't think anything of it, and he tells Yurine that Aelin is at Skull's Bay, and he doesn't actually know that she's actually there. He's like, that's the last place she would go. She once told me when she was being Selena that like she can't go there because the pirate lord, right? The pirate lord will like kill her, whatever. Thinking, oh, she'll never go there. It's the last place she'll go. But she's literally going there. She's literally already there. And so is Rowan and Dorian and Aiden and Lysandra. And I'm like, this cannot end well. This can't end well. And then I don't, I have no clue how to pronounce her name. Nesrin? Something like that? I'm so sorry. I'm so bad at the names. But she went with the one prince, the oldest prince. And she's just like not at the palace with Cole anymore. She's just like, poof. Let me write you a letter. I'm, I'm gone. Bye. See ya. I'm like, honestly. Currently, enjoying Tower of Dawn more than Empire of Storms. Don't kill me. Don't kill the messenger. But like, I don't know. I just feel like there's more going on in this one. And there's like so many point of views in Empire of Storms that it gets a little confusing so I'm really really scared for when I get to Kingdom of Ash because it's gonna be like 50 freaking point of views and it really gets confusing and there's parts where I'm just like Ugh. so yeah that's where I'm at right now um I read a lot today and then I took a little nap so I'm gonna finally get back into it um I think my goal is gonna be like Maybe like page 400 in both books. So that would mean I have like 120 pages of this one and like 60 pages of this one. So I'm assuming that'll put me probably around where I'm wanting to be at on my bookmark. Because I'm kind of like trying to gauge where I want to be off of this. So yeah, my goal was to finish this tomorrow. I don't know if that's going to be possible or not. We'll find out together but that's where I'm at right now so I'm just gonna shut up and I'm gonna start reading so let's do another update besties so it is now nine o'clock and I have done probably like roughly 275 pages of reading today um I tried not to like update my goodreads until like towards the end of the day but I'm now to like the big part of the tandem where I think shit's like about to start to get a little crazy. So I am on chapter 36, page 412 of Tower of Dawn. So we made really good progress in Tower of Dawn today. But in Empire of Storms, I'm only on page 294, chapter 33. But according to my bookmark i am supposed to read chapters 33 through 51 of empire of storms so that's like almost 200 pages that i'm just supposed to read empire of storms so i'm going to do as much of that tonight as i possibly can get myself to do i feel like i'm only up for maybe like another hour or so of reading i get tired really early in the day because i'm so used to being up so early 
during like my work week so i'm already tired but i want to keep going i want to finish these as soon as possible because i'm really excited about the rest of my tbr for the month and i really want to make sure i actually get to it and i also plan on reading kingdom of ash this month so i'm trying to push through these i also don't want to be trying to read them while i have work because i want to be able to put my full attention into these and really be able to grasp everything so we've made super good progress so far and i'm excited to continue i still think i'm preferring tower of dawn which i know is very uncommon for people but i really love the characters and i think cole and yureen are going to end up being together and i think they're gonna be really cute if that ends up happening empire of storms i feel like i just haven't gotten a lot i'm also 100 pages farther into tower of dawn so like obviously it makes a little bit of sense why i'm not as into this one so we're just gonna keep going we're just gonna see what happens I'm really enjoying myself. I'm loving the, being back with the characters. Generally, don't know what I'm going to do when I finish the series. I think it's going to actually absolutely shatter my soul from the inside out. But it's fine. You know, it's totally fine. So, I'm excited to keep going with these. That is the update also. I put on my late night reading shirt by House of Jupiter, I believe. That's where I got it. So, I feel like it's just fitting, you know, for the occasion. So apparently chapter um, 38 of Empire Storms gives chapter 55 of Akamoth vibes. Why did nobody tell me? Why was, why was there no warning that Aelin and Rowan would finally have their freaking moment? I have been waiting like three books for, or f almost four books for ever since air of fire why did why did we not tell me this why did we not let me prepare i'm literally so obsessed it's not even funny um so dorian almost got it on with manon what while she's held hostage chained up on a boat like what the fuck i'm actually confused like what's happening right now because i don't know hey besties let's do a reading update sire so, i finally got through the very long chunk of empire of storms that i'm supposed to read so i'm currently on chapter 52 page 485 so i finally get to go back to tower of dawn which i'm super excited about but in empire storms manon is now on their ship obviously i explained to you guys earlier that her and dorian you know like have a thing for each other a little bit and then um they just got attacked by the ilkin i think they're like the weird flying things that um erewhon size so it don't know that he like created and sent after their ship and so they had that happen and then they finally just realized that elwi where um nemo <laughs> i'm so bad with the names but where they were going which I think is Eloi, is how you say that. I could be wrong. But it is up in flames. And people think that Aelin did it. She obviously didn't. But yes, that's where I'm at. I cannot wait to go back to Tower of Dawn. See how Yureen and Cole are doing. I have missed them dearly. So I'm like 100 pages farther into Empire of Storms than I am in Tower of Dawn. So we'll see how that goes. I don't know how much more... I'm gonna read tonight probably like 150 pages or so we'll just see how I'm really feeling um I'm gonna get as far as I possibly can but I'm also trying to not like burn myself out and then 
I also have very exciting book mail. I have a special edition that I pre-ordered a while ago and then my probably smut subscription box for the month came in. So we can open those. Oh my gosh, it's a hockey romance. Okay, so we got the stickers and like all the annotation guides and stuff. And then here is our book. Icebound by Meredith Trapp. This is Boundless Players book one. This will be exciting. It's like in this plastic wrap, which is a little weird. And then we got a shirt like we do every single month. And it says, just one more chapter and other lies readers tell. This is actually really cute. I like the color of it. I think I would actually wear this one. Some of the ones that they give us i don't really particularly see myself wearing unless it's like a sh like a i don't care what happens to it kind of shirt but i actually really like this one and then for owl crate like i said this is just a pre-order i don't have their subscription but they do allow you to like sign up for pre-sale of certain special editions so months ago i signed up for the special edition of ruthless vows and I obviously pre-ordered it. Okay, so this one is also like wrapped in plastic, which like I said, I've never seen that before. So I am going to very gently cut this one open so I can actually look at it. I unfortunately don't have the Divine Rivals Owl Crate Special Edition. I don't have any special editions of Divine Rivals, but I bought both the fairy loot and owl crate special edition of ruthless vows even though i like divine rivals more in my personal opinion but i wanted to have them okay so this is our cover and this is the back and then the spine the absolutely stunning sprayed edges here are our end papers this is the naked hardback and then there is a reverse dust jacket that I'm kind of obsessed with. Oh my god. I'm kind of obsessed. I'm so glad that I got my hands on this. I love it. I'm so excited to add this to my shelf. I have like a spot for all my special editions of like my fairy loots and stuff. And this is like my first special edition I've ever gotten that I personally bought other than my Valeris box set. But... I'm actually so excited. It's beautiful. So we have some super fun book mail with us. And I love getting book mail. It's always such a fun day to get book mail. So we just have some fun little books. But I am going to go back into the tandem. I'm going to finish as fast as I possibly can. I like, I'm not trying to like rush the reading process too much, but at the same time, I don't want to get burnt out because of like how long they are and everything so I'm trying to like read them quickly and not take too long because I don't want to get back in a reading slump and I have some super exciting books to read this month on my TBR that I'm really excited to get to and I have I think at least two more reading vlogs planned for the month so I'm just trying to like keep things moving you know Cole took a step he's gonna fight for urine I'm so excited like go get your girl I'm obsessed with these two they have to end up together <laughs> y'all let me just read this to you I heard the spies' stories of you, the fearless Boruni woman in, in Darlin's empire, Neath's arrow, and I knew I loved you before I ever set eyes on you. Please, Nestor wept. Sar talks hand tight on hers. I wish we'd had time. Then the prince was gone, ripped from her hands, as if he had never been. What the fuck? Go like what? He was perfect for her. Oh. 
Oh my god. What am I gonna do if one of the main characters dies? I'm gonna lose my fucking shit. I'm not even okay. Like, why am I crying? Um. Maeve is the queen of the flag? I'm sorry. What? I have no words. What the fuck did I just find out? Oh, for the love of fucking God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. so many things are freaking clicking right now i'm gonna butcher the name but falcon or fal it's gotta be falcon f-a-l-k-a-n falcon he's lysandra's uncle like why is everything just click 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 clicking and then also i don't know what rowan is up to by jumping from ship to ship to ship and what he's asking them or telling them but like if he helps us out I literally don't even have that much of these books left like if I finish tonight I think I will shit myself because I'll be shocked that I was able to do it like the fact that I'm almost done with the tandem read of Throne of Glass is absolutely baffling to me because I actually never thought I was going to get this far. Never in really any years thought I was actually going to be able to finish it. So this is like crazy. There's too much happening. Okay, I'm going to go back to reading. Okay, chapter 70 of Empire of Storms. I have like 40 pages left of it. But guess who's back? The 13th! Abraxas, I am literally so excited. The witches are back back manon finally can get her girls you know they're gonna do the damn fucking thing i'm so excited also if aelin dies in kingdom of ash i will never be okay never i will never be okay i cannot wait to like sit down and do my final thoughts with you guys about these two books i have honestly so much to say so much to say but I'm now going to finish Empire of Storms. <laughs> Maeve just took Aelin. <laughs> and Rowan said, where is my wife? finished the tandem read by Sarah J Mass, Tower of Dawn, and Empire of Storms. I was an emotional wreck last night when I finished these. Um, it pierced my soul and I literally read for like eight hours straight and my brain felt like complete mush. But I did it and I'm actually so proud of myself because I never really thought I was going to be able to do this. And I loved every fucking second. Um, let's just talk about Empire of Storms quick. What the fuck was the ending? 
Rowan and Aelin are mated. They're married. Aelin got fucking taken captive by Maeve. She let Lorcan and Gav Gavriel, is that how you say his name? Gavriel. She broke her like oath bond with both of them. Lysandra is playing Aelin because she's a shapeshifter and nobody is allowed to know that Aelin was taken. Um, like what else, what else happened? Like, oh my god. Literally, this book specifically had so much stuff from Assassin's Blade repop up. It was absolutely crazy. And then same with this one, the main female character other than Nesrin, I think that's how you say her name, Yoreen was from Assassin's Blade. Like these two books, like so much stuff came into play. Like Aelin took up so many like she was like all of these people i saved your life you owe me one and they all freaking came to play i was like oh my god but what's happening there was so much crossover it was literally absolutely insane shook me to the freaking core i love them both so much they're both like six star reads i think i preferred tower of dawn there was a happy ending Obviously, Duva, the one pregnant princess, was the Val Valg, I think. So you say it. I don't know. I'm really bad at the pronunciations. I am so, 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 so sorry for this whole video with my pronunciations. It's been terrible. But she was the Valg. And she re hurt Cole. Or Kale? I think it's Cole. I say Cole. Teach their own. She re hurt him. And then all of the healers tied Yurin and Cole's lives together so he can kind of for the most part walk but only if Yurin's magic is at full capacity. I'm like what is happening? Like SJM is a freaking genius. These are like my children. Love them to bits and freaking pieces. I was texting in Destiny's Patreon group chat last night that I finished and everyone's like, you are not ready for Kingdom of Ash. Like, you're, you are not ready. If you thought these broke you, you're not ready. And I'm like, fuck my life. Okay. It's so great to hear. But overall, I loved them so much. So much happened. I was literally shook the entire freaking time. I hope you guys enjoyed my full spoiler tandem read reading vlog. I thought it was so much fun. I will definitely be doing this for Kingdom of Ash as well. I probably won't read that book for just, just a few weeks, give my brain a little bit of time to just and to also mentally prepare myself to be finishing my all-time favorite series. But with all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you all so, so, so much. I appreciate each and every one of you. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my face. Check out all my socials down below, including my Goodreads and my Amazon book wish list. And I will see you lovely people next time. Bye, besties!